Hey guys, Haseeb here and welcome to another video. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about Go High Level Opportunities and Pipeline Management System. So for those who are finding it hard to understand what Go High Level Opportunities are and what the Pipeline Management System is all about, this video is exactly for you. So make sure you watch the full video to understand how it works, why you, we use it and why it's so important for your company's sales and marketing. So let's just go to the opportunities uh, option. Uh, first of all, I'm in a sub account. I'm not on agency level. This is a sub account feature for those who uh, don't know. Uh, so I'm in a sub account. It's a test account, by the way. And all I need to do is just go to opportunities. So let me just give you an example to explain the pipeline management system in Go High Level. So imagine you have a business uh, or you have a like a company which has a sales process. You may not have a sales team for it. Maybe you're doing the sales yourself. Doesn't matter. What matters is you have a sales process that's broken down into different uh, stages, right? So one stage could be called new lead where new leads are coming in. So that's the stage uh, where you are sending messages, sending emails to your new leads those who need to respond to get a service or a product from you you are selling them uh, your service or product so from those people some people will reply and you could call it another stage called responded or engaged uh, and then they will be interested in a call maybe you will just uh, ask them to request a free consultation or book a call with you sometime uh, maybe send you a calendar link, some something like that. And that stage could be called booked a call. So we got new leads, we got responded, we got booked a call. After the call, some of them will like your pitch because you're going to pitch a service or uh, your offer, you know. So some of those will like what you are offering them, a service or a product. Those people will be moved to another stage called sold or under contract depends on it's a, whether it's a product or a service some will not like it maybe they will these people can be kept for pitching another offer in the future so we call we will call it ghosted or did not sell or something you know and after you finally provide the service or you after you uh, get the payment the initial payment or something you can call them a client so they became a client so we got New leads, we got responded, we got booked a call, we got under contract, and we got uh, became a client. And then also we got ghosted for those who did not like your offer or your pitch. So that's the sales process, which is exactly what pipeline management system is all about. It's the visual representation of the people or all of, of the prospects or of the leads, whatever you want to call it. Visual representation of those people in different stages in a pipeline so go high level pipeline is basically your sales process which exactly we're, we're going to create right now so let me go to pipelines from the tab above uh by the way i'm in opportunities tab right now uh opportunities and then here it's called pipeline so i'll i'll create a new pipeline the the one that i just said literally i'm going to create that so i'm going to call it sales uh just let's just call it sales or sales leads you know now the first stage will be called new leads. The second stage will be called responded because people responded in this stage. Okay, then we'll call it booked a uh, call. We'll call the fourth one under contract. Fifth one will be called uh, became a client. And the sixth one will be called ghosted. This is for those who didn't go for the offer. That's what basically we are creating. So the pipeline name is the process name. Uh, we will call the stages new leads, responded, booked, called under contract, became a client, and then ghosted. That's fine for now. This is just a basic sales process, by the way. You can design yours just you like you saw. You can create hundreds of stages, although I don't think we create hundred stages in a sales process, but that's something you can do. Now, if we go back to opportunities, you can see the thing that was blank over here because there were no pipelines uh, created in this account. 
there is one right now that has all the steps that I just created which is movable you can just click on it and you can just move them around uh, just if you want to see them now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain what opportunity is so really simple opportunity is a prospect or a lead so an individual prospect you're talking to is an opportunity in go high level terms so pipelines hold the opportunities so it's 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 not important that all the contacts you have inside a go high level account they're all opportunities it's not important but all the opportunities inside pipelines they are contacts right so that's the difference between contacts and opportunities opportunities are, are a part of your sales process or any kind of process uh, that you're using to nurture your uh, leads right so what we are going to do is now i'm going to show you how to create opportunities inside the pipeline management system right so first of all let me tell you there are actually two ways you can create opportunities inside pipelines one is obviously manually so you can go go ahead and create keep creating opportunities the second one is automatic which is the i think the most valuable and most important uh, thing you need to understand so there's also another one by the way you could call it a third one which is bulk import so if you have a list of contacts you can upload the csv and then uh, work it out uh, through an automation which is basically uh, a combination of autom automatic and manual process and then you can add them to a pipeline uh, as opportunities that's what something uh, that's something you could do but we are going to talk about the manual and the automatic ones right now so let's let's start with manual so uh, this is the button you need to click on to create an opportunity right and it's asking you a bunch of things as you can see it's asking you contact name email phone number opportunity name what stage you want the lead in so let's let's start by creating it let's start by adding myself this is my new contact okay and that's a uh, my name my email my number is like this one let's just add a dummy number now opportunity name is the name of the person that's fine it's just for what you will see here as a tile i'll just explain what it is so uh the the next important thing is what pipeline do you want to lead in that uh, the opportunity in so the opportunity i created i wanted in sales leads pipeline uh and i want in under new leads stage and now i want to explain status so status is actually different statuses of the sales process basically if you are in conversation with your lead that says this uh this lead has an open status so uh this lead is open right now i haven't sold anything to this lead yet the next one is lost so if you pitch an offer and the lead or the prospect does not like it that says declined so that's lost the third one is one so you have sold the offer your your service or the product that's when you mark the lead or the prospect as one all right so it became it becomes a, a client or a customer abandoned means something like lost but it's not entirely lost so lost means declined abandoned means it it went cold so it didn't reply to anything that's that's when we mark it as abandoned we will see more about this but that's all you need to do about it uh, about opportunity statuses trust me so the next thing is opportunity value uh opportunity value means the estimated value or the estimated money you're going to make from this of, of from this opportunity or the, from this prospect right uh, this is the potential value really so let's say you can sell fifteen thousand dollar of roof replacement or roof installation something so we'll just say fifteen thousand owner is the salesperson that's talking or that's going to talk to this prospect um, most cases in most cases for small businesses it's, it's, it's the company owner but yeah if you have a sales team in place you can just create a user inside this sub account and then assign this lead to that person business name opportunity source doesn't matter right now all i want to do is just create uh all right it doesn't allow duplicate contacts because i think i have one so let me just create that so 
it's fine. So as you can see, an opportunity tile has been created. So this is a tile that I just created. And this is an opportunity and you can, as you can see, it's, you can move it around uh, at different stages. So I, I wanted it in new leads. So if this person responds, this person will be moved to responded. If this person books a call, you'll be moved to book a call, right? That's how it works. And now then if a person is under contract, then will be moved under contract, right? And um, when I actually start moving it around, you can see the three stages or the three statuses pop up. So you could call it one, you could call it abandoned, you could call it lost based on the conversation you have with this prospect, right? The only reason why you don't see open is because this lead is already open in open status by default, right? Uh, also, I assigned it open. So that's what it basically says. That's the well, that's one way to create create opportunities manually in pipeline management system. Another way you can do it is uh, by clicking this thunder or whatever icon and hit create an opportunity. It will basically have the same pop up. Uh, yeah, that's that's one more way. Now we are going to look into how to create opportunities manually in a pipeline, right? For that, we need to go to automation and from there we need to create a workflow. So let's think about it for a minute before we actually go ahead and create the automation. So basically automations happen based on a trigger, any kind of automation you can think of. It has a trigger and it has an action. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you want to perform an automation on a, a based on a form submission. So someone submits a form and you, uh, you want something to happen automatically without you even knowing. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is the form submission is the trigger and whatever action you want to perform based on the form submission is the action. So for this example, I want to create a form by going to sites and I want to go to form builder from, uh, from top. And I want to add a form. So let's actually use one of the forms here. So the contact us form sounds good. Let me just actually uh, go ahead and see what's going on with this form. So this is the form. Uh, it has some basic fields and I want to I copy the link from here. And what I want to do is now I want something to happen on this form of this form submission, right? So whenever this form is submitted, I want opportunity to be created inside the pipeline management system that's simple enough and let me just go to automation and let me create a workflow for that so we know that the name of the form it's called contact us now i want to create a workflow from scratch so we will call it uh contact us form submission so it's a basic workflow now as I was saying, the initial trigger will be form submission. So I'm going to search for form. So it says form submitted. I'm going to select that. And I want to select the form because I don't want to go for all the forms out there on the account because each form has its own purpose. I want to select a particular form. So I will say form is contact us. That's all. Save trigger. Now to perform the action and we know the action, we know what the action is. We want to create an opportunity. So I'm going to say create or update opportunity. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to say pipeline will be select lead uh, sales leads. I'm going to say it, it will be new lead because it just submitted the form. Technically it's a new lead and opportunity name will be the contact full name. So just click here and contact full name. That's all. And make sure you don't do it twice. So status will be open just started a conversation by the way so lead value will be whatever the estimated potential revenue is from this this prospect so i'm going to save fifteen thousand and hit save and before you save you make sure you hit publish otherwise it's not going to work now that's created and let me actually check the opportunities so it's it only has that lead i just created so that's fine i'm going to do uh, I'm going to call it John Doe now, and I'm going to say 888-555-2345. Uh, and then I'm going to say uh, johnmail.com. Organization is uh, John's company, whatever. 
what challenges are exper experiencing i need uh well yeah submit your message so whenever the form is submitted what should happen is i should see a tile automatically be created so if i hit so as you can see the tile has been already created it's called john doe and it also gives you the source which is contact us which is the name of the form it shows you the potential revenue and if you click on any of uh, these buttons these are going to perform different kinds of automation so you can call you can send a message or see the conversation you can add a tag you can add notes like uh basically what notes is all about is like if you have like a under contract you know for, for just giving you an example by the way so i can add note uh the note could say sold uh, needs uh, uh full rebrand something you know and uh, to be contacted by uh elaine you know just add a note and when the next person or the other salesperson sees it uh watches it like the person will be uh, able to see what the last conversation was by going to notes that's the functionality of the pipeline management systems opportunity tile so uh, also you can add an appointment so this requires a calendar so i'm not going there you can definitely uh see the conversation from here by clicking on that speech bubble right so you can also see the activities happening or the automations happening with this so that's also a very good um uh, very good update of go high level i would say so i'm just putting it where it uh initially was so that's basically what uh pipeline management system and opportunities uh system is it's not just limited to a form submission by the way just so you don't misunderstand you can create opportunities basically uh based off of any kind of uh any kind of trigger so if i just want to show you what kind of triggers are there uh in order for you to create opportunities inside pipelines let me just give you an example from uh by the by just going here so inbound webhook is basically uh from like from third party software we require webhooks to send data to go high level or send data from go high level to another software so uh based of call status if there's a new call inbound call you could create an opportunity uh because there was call uh and that's what most people do survey submitted is another form so like it's a multi-step form trigger link clicked so if someone clicks on a trigger link which uh, i think i have a video about what trigger links are so you can see that so trigger link clicked tiktok form submitted video tracking you can do a bunch of stuff with uh opportunity management system it's basically uh like i said it it visualizes like it's the visual representation of the sales process of your company i would say because you can see actually see the people you're talking to and it helps you so much to nurture uh your prospects and it makes you like your life easier way way easier than it ever was before high level was here because you don't have to worry about writing things down you don't think need to worry about uh leads kept in different places automations happening what the last conversation was you have you had to struggle with so much now you don't that's how opportunities and pipeline management system helps you so make sure you explore more and i hope this video helped you understand uh, opportunities and pipelines more and make sure you subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video thank you for watching